Boats, boats, boats. Brisbane Yamaha knows boats. Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha, and today, have a look at this little beauty. A 650 center console yellow fin with a few differences. And, you know, there's a reason why yellow fin's the biggest selling plate boat in Australia. They are awesome. I get sick of so many going out. Now, let me show you a couple of reasons why they are awesome. All right, have a look at this. Yellow fin, yellow aluminium trailer, two and a half ton, because this is a 650 and it's a big 650. Then we put the catch and release on it. Look at that trailer and look at that hull. Now, why we're looking at the hull, let me just show you something. Because some of them strange boats, like the back crusher and stuff, you know, they don't understand. Now, see this extrusion. If, you're, if you imagined, this is there, right? So there's that little chine. Six mil, four mil. It goes into the extrusion and is welded on both sides. Do you see that? Now, it doesn't take Einstein to work out that that is bloody strong. And then that is the keel. So that bit would be in there, right? So that's the keel. Once again, welded, beautiful welds too, on both sides. Now, as we come down, so solid, solid boat, all this non-slip, nice rails, 260 litres of fuel in this little baby. And we'll have a look inside because we put a different seat configuration. You can buy these without a seat and move it round. And of course we do the rear console as well. Come down to the back. Geez, that's a good trailer. We've got the Volvo Penta or uh, trim tabs uh, that come down. And have a look under that trailer because tell what to do a wonderful job. You got the transducer. You know, oh, you want to do some diving or something. You want to have a dive ladder. Yeah, we've got you covered on that. You can see the scuppers. We've put a 200 on here. And gee, those Yamahas die. Dan will put up the specs. You know, it was only a month or so ago. I had eight of them. I ordered by accident. And they're all gone. Now, looking at the back, there's another there, some tie down points, and we're going to have a look inside. Look at this seat, this relaxed seat that we put in. It's beautiful because you can stand up, you put the esky underneath, you've got those full checker plate floors that I love, right? Plenty of storage inside packets. This console's sturdy. You know, you've got some Yamaha goodness here with, with their new gauges, with crawl control and trim and stuff, for, you know. At the back, huge big bait tank. You know, jeez, you put a kid in there and wash him. Down under here, there'll be some Brisbane Yamaha. Just beautiful work with twin batteries you put in there. You know, good transom door that comes out, stands in, gets through. That's just quality. That's just quality. Battery isolation switch where you can get to it here. Fuel filter. All the bits where you need. Now, someone was just saying, how come you're wearing that hat, Aaron? Well, a couple of weeks ago, I was in Gunnedah. I was in Gunner doing a bit of shooting and chasing a few cod with one of my mates, Craig. Craig Field. He's a top sort of bloke. And he was wearing this hat. And I'm going, why are you wearing that hat? He said, oh, I like it. So we had a bet and I lost. And he made me wear this bloody hat. And I said to him, well, you didn't like it that oh, You didn't like it that much, did you? Because you give it to me. And there it is. I've honoured my bet, Craig. Now that hat's going. Okay. Now, good bait board. Down here, put your bait, sinkers, rods up here. And these, I don't put cans of Coke and beers in these. I put my rod in there with the sinker. And let's say I was uh, had some live baits or I had a dead bait here ready and I was catching billies or something and doing some switching. I'd have the live bait here or running, if it was live, I'd have it into the tank. I'd have the sinker here, the bait in there with it shut, ready to cast it out. Just ingenious. Good sides that you can get your feet under and plenty of storage up the front because everyone with a centre console dreams about going away, sleeping in it. Couple of batteries there because you put a big min coder on it. Oh, and a lot of storage there because you've got a lot of tackle. Steps to get up. 
up here, massive ankle well. Have a look at this ankle well, because one of the little touches, see how it's got that plastic poly stuff in there? Just so the anchor doesn't hit. There's nothing worse than have a trophy boat, and this wouldn't hit because it's 5083, high tensile aluminium. So it's what people call a plate boat, right? Have a look from here, Dan, because this is a beautiful thing, and I can hardly wait to get it on the water. We'll see you on the water and see how this little beauty runs. So here we are in Morton Bay. Now what had happened, Dan stuffed up, we lost audio. So we've come out three days later and it's a better day because it's blue skies but it's blowing a gale. It's blowing 20, there's a metre, metre and a half of chop. And I can tell you, you're lucky you're not out here in a bone crusher. But I promise Craig, we'd do it. So watch this. These are a fantastic boat. So I'm into the waves. Watch how easy this is. And we saw how it planes. I commit on that wave and we're over. Look at that. And then I back back to 32 and it's just sitting on top of that wave and absolutely eating it. Look at this. Watch this. Woohoo! See, I would actually drive that wave. Hopefully the drone can see us a little bit faster just to stay on top. And it's smooth. Dan's had to hang on. Look at this. Woohoo! Look at this one. Yahoo! Soft. So we're at 2800 and I'm chugging out there. Look at that. We're doing 14 and I'm just belting into the waves. We're sitting down. I'd probably go a little bit faster. I've gone to 3000. We're out to 16 knots. Pretty comfortable. Nothing. You know, the waves just, the hull is just soaking it up. You know, and it made me think. Got asked the other day, you know, whether when you buy a bone crusher, do you get a kidney belt and a mouth guard with it? And I said, no, you don't. That, someone made that up. They're optional extras that come from the factory. <laughs> no, I've got to leave it because they always carry on. I'll go speed up a little bit. Look at it. Watch this wave. What's your boat do when you go that? Woohoo! You can see that hull, and that's the R&D from Yellowfin. The R&D department in Yellowfin is bigger than most boat yards. And it shows, because on a day like today, going across, and I'm not going across that wave, because a blowing 20, there is no such thing as a wave, that, a boat that can spit it out. So go slow. Let's say we come up crab pot or I saw a school of tuna and we stopped. And you can see it's a bit like a boiling pot. Waves coming through. Let's follow and see. Let's see. You got us, Dan? Oh, there's the drone. I hope you're happy with yourself, Craig. I'm wearing a pink hat. You know, Craig's a hell of a good bloke. Raven alcoholic though. I've only seen him twice when he wasn't drunk. Top bloke though. Good shot. Fantastic shot. And a good, very good fisherman too. You wouldn't think so, but must just be his relaxed style. Have a look at this. Follow and see. Just punching that out. I'd probably trim it up a little bit. 3,700, we're doing 23 knots, which is a good little speed to cover distance. You know, from here in the mouth of Caboolture River, out in the bay, about half an hour across to Tangaluma, about an hour and a bit out to the banks, or probably an hour and three quarters out to the banks, or out to Cape Morton. Look at the jellyfish in here. It's like jellyfish soup. I couldn't go in that water because I can't stand jellyfish. I hate it when they touch me. You know, they go, oh, it's creepy, I reckon. Have a look at this boat, how it's handling. And I never know if it's broaching or breaching, but this thing doesn't do either. 
Woohoo! Hang on, Dan, I'm gonna get you wet. Oh, no, I can't. Drone. We get the controller. So I'll turn into that. But you know, we're on an open boat. These yellow fins, crikey there. You know, look, have a look at it. I'll just stop here. Have a look at that wave. Watch the nose. Watch the nose, just not doing. Oh, here we go, wait on. Of course, every time I do that, the waves stop, because that's how it works. Blowing in me hair, jellyfish swimming. The only thing on the ocean today is a turtle. But sailboats aren't out here today, and the, and the boat, and the boat ramp was totally empty. Bam, bam, I'll give it a little bit, it's on top. Well, I'm gonna give it a little bit more then, get on top of those. Hang on, Dan. Woohoo! let's do some wave jumping. Woo! Oh, I tell you what, the faster you go, the better it is. That is magnificent. Have a look at this thing chopping over this. Woohoo! that's fantastic, drone's gone. If I was coming out for a late night or a late afternoon fish, this boat is incredibly capable. And on that chop, it's very, very good. Very soft, it was predictable. You know, don't forget I'm doing 65 kilometers an hour over that, right? And it's just skipping and it's landing soft um, from one wave to the next. And hopefully that drone will show you, you know, but very, very, very good hull and good boat. They should be proud of themselves. If Gilligan had a yellow fin, I don't think there would have even been a show because he would have got home. It wouldn't have been a three hour tour, would it? Let's, let's reverse. Let's see how this thing reverses. So we've hooked up on a billy, chasing that fish, chasing it in. On the left, look out for the prop. Oh my God. You know, there's always, oh, I've lost the hat. There's always pandemonium when you're hooked up to a big fish and you know, the angler, the skipper. I used to go fishing with this bloke called David Granville. He owns the Kabul, he owns the uh, Caloundra Tackle Store. It's an awesome place and he's an awesome fisherman. But God, he'd get angry with me, screaming and shouting at me. Most of the time it was deserved. Have a look at this thing. It's not as good in backwards as it is in forward, but I tell you what, it's not bad, is it? So much better than a bone crusher. It's actually so much better than most boats. I suppose that's why we sell so many yellow fins. And while we're on that, if you're thinking about buying a boat, you want a yellow fin, you want, oh, we've got all the best brands there are for trailer boats. That's, that's as simple as that. We're the biggest dealer there's ever been and we can have anything we want. I'm very happy with the brands we've got. If you're looking for a yellow fin, call the team at Brisbane Yamaha, 3888 1727. We'll take you out in the water, show you why there's such a huge seller. If you want any other brand, if you want to sell a boat, call the team. We buy boats, we'll give you cash today. And I hope I see you on the water with your family in this beautiful state of Queensland. Bye for now.